With the integrated terminal confirm on exit setting, VS Code will prompt you when closing a window if there's an active integrated terminal. This can help you ensure that you're not losing some important task or information that's stored in the currently integrated terminal. Now VS Code's default behavior is that when you close a window, it will also just automatically take down all of the associated integrated terminals. We can change that behavior by going to the settings with control comma or command comma on Mac and searching confirm on exit. And I want the terminal integrated confirm on exit setting. Again, you can see that the default for this is never, which means that VS Code will never prompt you and it'll just automatically take down the integrated terminals. Now some values for this, we have always and then has child process in addition to never. So let's look at always first. So always means that VS Code is always going to prompt you when closing a window that has integrated terminals. So if I go up here and I close the window, you can see that I now have this prompt showing up and it's it sees that uh, we have an integrated terminal down here and it's making sure that we want to go and uh, kill this window because it will also go and kill this terminal. So if I say yes here, it has gone and closed the window, but I could also say cancel and then go and clean up the terminal myself. Now the other setting is has child process. So I'm going to search confirm on exit again here. So has child process is a little bit more complicated because it's actually looking at the state of the terminal to determine whether or not the window is going to prompt you when shutting down. So by default here, if I go and I open up a new terminal with has child process set for the confirm on exit setting, you can see that I can just close this window without getting a prompt. And that's because nothing is running in the background with the integrated terminal. So it hasn't spawned any child processes. Now, if I'm instead running something, so let's go and start something like node here, for example. Now, when I close the window, you can see that it's detected that there is a child process running. In this case, it is the node child process. This could also be a watcher task or something like that. And it is now asking us whether or not we wanted to kill the terminal. So we only get that prompt if there's a child process, such as a watch task running. So now I could say yes. And now we've gone and uh, closed VS Code that way. So you can see that you can uh, configure VS Code to always prompt you if you set confirm on exit to always, or only prompt you in the case where you have an active child process running in your integrated terminal using this confirm on exit setting.